Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Um, Smelly here, and today we are going to be looking at the missiles and the railgun and the ICBM mod. And also we have integrated with that some of the stuff from the Universal Electricity mod. So if we come over here, we have these missiles powered by a battery box, which you put batteries in. Uh, wait, this goes... yeah. Batteries in, and then the... Actually, this one's putting power into this battery. Put it back in here. So you put the battery in the battery box, which powers the battery box, which then can power the missile, which is already powered. I already put power to all these missiles, so they're all ready to launch. And then with these missiles on this side, I have a coal generator, which powers the battery box instead of the batteries, which then in returns powers the missiles, which are all ready to launch. They all have power in them. And then with the railgun, I just use batteries to power the battery box, which powers the railgun. So in the railgun, right now we have, they only have two different types of bullets for the railgun. So first we have a conventional bullet and the anti-matter bullet. So let's go ahead and see what the conventional bullet looks like. I built a wool wall right there and the railgun is powered is powered by redstone current or just yeah any redstone current so let's see what it looks like wow that was actually a lot <laughs> that was a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be i'm glad it didn't explode any of my missiles over here i i that was the first time of me actually seeing that so i didn't know what to expect well, let's go ahead and build another wall real quick so we can test out the antimatter bullet. Let's use, I don't know, we'll use bricks. I'm going to put the wall a little bit further back, I think. I'm a little scared. Just building a wall. I guess I should have built two walls before I started this video, but oh well. Not a good thinker. Is this wall good enough? I think this wall should suffice. Let's go ahead and check out the antimatter bullet. I think if I just switch these two around, that's how it works. I think that's how it works. Here we go. Okay, so this. Oh, this doesn't have any power because I guess it used all the power after the first bullet. So they hear me. And then this exploded when the thing went off. So you can, as you can see, it's recharging, and this battery box is full of power, which comes from the batteries. So if I were to put another battery in here, which my batteries are... I'm just getting already full batteries from my inventory. The battery recharges the battery box, which in return powers the railgun. Okay, so now we're ready to shoot the antimatter bullet. I'm not too sure what the difference was. I'm pretty sure the antimatter bullet uh, can just dig through bedrock as opposed to the regular bullet, which cannot go through bedrock because that's how the TNT and explosives work. So I think that's the only difference is just one can go through bedrock and the other can't. So that's the real gun. So next we are gonna do the missiles. We'll do the missiles over here that are powered by the battery boxes first. Actually, we're all powered by the battery box, but this one's powered by a coal generator, which goes through the battery box instead of just batteries. So I already set all these missiles up to coordinates that should go somewhere over there by those pumpkins. I don't know if you can see the pumpkins or not. So these should all go close to the pumpkins. And these two are powder, bleh, powered by redstone. 
You could use a, um, you could use, what is it? There's a, yeah, a remote for it. You could use a remote, but I'm just using redstone. So let's, what missile do we have in here? Let's check first. This is a nuclear cluster. That's probably going to be kind of big. Let's test, look at this one first. Oh, that's going to be even bigger. <laughs> what is this one? I'm trying to right click. Okay, this shouldn't be too big. We'll do this one first. Here we go. Trying to follow it as best I can. It went pretty high up there. Still, I think it's finally starting to come down here. Oops, wow. That went a lot farther than I thought it was gonna go. And that was the sonic explosive, and you, if you've seen the other videos, you uh, would know what that one does. So I'm not going to go over that. Let's head on back over to the missiles, because we have a lot more to shoot. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and shoot. What is this one again? Is this the antimatter? That one's going to be too big. We'll do this one. This is the nuclear cluster. I wonder if I stand in front of it, if it'll hit me. Oh, goodness. That was kind of cool. Wow, so that one totally just destroyed. <laughs> it broke up into smaller missiles, which then put a bunch of holes in the ground. All right, so that was a nuclear cluster missile. That was pretty cool. Let's head back on over here to the missiles. This is really causing my computer to lag out all these explosions. That's all right. Guess we'll go ahead. Well, I'll save that antimatter one because that one's kind of big. What is this one? It's just a regular missile. Let's see how it goes here. I think I can put it back here. No? I gotta destroy. I gotta. Hey, how did I do these ones? I put it right in front of it. That's weird. Oops. Well, goodness gracious. Oh, I just shot that one off. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and I think this one I set really close to the camp. Let's see. Yeah, I did. So that one, that missile, it has to be daytime for it to work. That's why I showed that yellow beam. It's like taking the sun's heat and it turns the whole area surrounding it into fire, which is pretty cool. I'm going to put it back on daytime, though. I don't know why this other missile was not shooting. Maybe it didn't have any power. Target too far. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll make it closer. All right, here we go. I feel like this is going a really long ways. Was this, this is kind of as far. All right. I don't know what missile this was. I didn't look. Wow, that was a really long ways. Oh my gosh, that was just a regular missile that... <laughs> was that just a regular missile? <laughs> I guess that was just a just a regular like TNT explosion. That was dinky compared to all these other ones. Forgot to check what it was. Um, oh, I'm getting sick from the radiation from the nuclear explosion. 
So I think that's it. I do have one more missile, but I destroyed the panel for it. I guess I can put the panel back on. Oops, let me go over there first. I wonder if I can use this one. Yeah, this is the right one. Um, oh, and I gotta supply electricity to it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Target too close. Where are my coordinates right now? Negative 400 and 359. So what if I do 350? 350 seems to work. And what kind of missile is this? This is a endothermic. So this is going to make everything all icy. Oops, I didn't mean to pause it. Oh, <laughs> in order for that one to work, it has to be nighttime. That was a major fail. Well, that is how... Oh, I still have this one. I Man, I could have sworn I did all these. Oh, yeah, this is the antimatter. Let's put this one right by us. That, that should be fun. Um, Let's see. Let's do 400. And... 10. So that should be right that should be right on top of us basically. So let's see how that goes. So that was the antimatter, which uh, just puts a big hole down, sh like straight through bedrock and everything. So, well, that just about does it for the missiles and railgun. Um, I think that's uh, about it for me looking through the ICBM mod. Um, I may do some more stuff with the universal electricity mod, like this stuff right here and whatnot. Uh, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to keep playing with this because it's fun. But uh, this will probably be my last video on it. Not sure. Maybe not. Who knows. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ba, 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 ba.